Welcome everyone to another video on the HP Prime. Uh, this one is specifically related to the Graph 3D program or application I've been working on. And I wanted to share some updates yet again. Uh, we finally have 3D contours working. And so here we see a, uh, a graph of our three-dimensional function 1 over 390 times x cubed times y minus x times y cubed. Um, I still need to add some interface uh, buttons to, to do things like change from contour mode to non-contour mode. But let's take a look at our function again. So this is the original function. So the coloring scheme has changed to be a little bit smoother now than uh, what we had before. You'll see a little bit of shearing in my recording, um, and that's because I'm, I'm actually recording... Um, through a remote desktop. So um, that's the reason why. It's not because the application is slow or that the emulator is real slow. So let's go back and uh, take a look at our source. I've made it so that we can um, switch it back and forth. Right now it's, it's all manual, so hopefully this will be automated. Um, so here's our contour, our 3D contour. So it's kind of nice there. Um, we can change the coloring scheme back and forth between the two. And I've also implemented a, a third coloring scheme. Um, so let's see if we can find it. Um, back over here. So this is going to take a little while again. Uh, as I said before, this is done over uh, remote desktop because I don't have any recording software on my desktop. Uh, let's see here. Of course, the faster thing is just to edit the actual source and then copy it over, but uh, who needs fast, right? <clears throat> so here we are. Um, let's uncomment some of these lines here. This gives us a new color scheme for uh, the contours. Because we want to actually distinguish one contour line from the next. And hopefully that's all that I needed to do. So let's try it again. So here, the, as you can see, uh, each contour level is uh, in a different color. And of course, if it's on the same contour, then it's the same color. Whereas before, before I made the edit, uh, you know, it was just using the same color scheme for the actual surface. But, you know, we can rotate. Now on the actual calculator, it's a little bit slower, but the idea is that it's implemented and it's there. Some of the issues that I was running into earlier are partially fixed in that I at least have figured out workarounds to prevent things from going awry. But um, what we still need are official updates in the firmware to ensure that we don't continue to run into those issues that I had mentioned in a previous video. So now if you want to do a, uh, an actual contour graph, you can try to look from the, the, the top down. And so let me see if I can get it. There we go. Now there's still some project uh, perspective projection, so uh, I'll need to make this work so that it appears as if we actually had a flat two-dimensional contour. And not everything is perfect. So as you can see here, we're still seeing a little bit of uh, the surface. It really should just be um, an intersection of uh, lines here. But uh, this is probably the best that we'll be able to get since um, what I'm doing is I'm actually um, drawing multiple copies of the surface and then I'm clipping at certain Z levels. So that's the gist of the three-dimensional contour graph. So I do have source for this. I'll be posting it up soon on the forums. Um, right now, there probably won't be any link in the description, but if you check back in a couple days, I'll update the description um, for access to the code. So thank you for tuning in, and I will catch you all next video.